If you've been having problems with quad draw, then you've definitely come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to go over the most common quad draw issues that I see while teaching read topology at university and also how you can solve those. I've collated all these common issues in one of three PDFs that you can download for free. You can find that in the link below. Hi guys, I'm Virtus and welcome to 3D Mutiny, where we draw little tiny squares over the model until it stops working. So here's a list of common quad tool and read topology issues with all their fixes. I hope you find the one that you're looking for. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe. So here we got the low poly that we were working on. And when you press quad draw, you might find that it's not turning blue. Now the chances are you don't have your high poly selected as a live surface. So before going into quad tool, make sure you select that high poly. I like to select it in the outliner to make sure. Come up to live surface. You'll know it's complete because the selection's vanished. It will also indicate the name of your object up here. You're now gonna reselect your low poly and then hopefully your quad tool should be working or it will turn blue because it has a guide now and now you should have normal function so here's another issue with quad draw i have this low poly selected now when i come to quad draw still it doesn't turn blue however i still have my live surface activated so usually what's happening here is that the wrong guide is selected so you can see up here if i've named everything i actually have my high poly spikes as a guide but i'm trying to use quad tool down here with my low poly for this shell so this will be common when you're working on multiple sub tools for this you'll have to deactivate the guide double check that you have the right guide selected so this says shell and then refer to the viewport you can see that it's actually selected a different kind of shell so make sure it's the correct one in this example it's actually called shoulders and i can see it here reactivate the live surface select the corresponding low poly reference that with the one that you have selected on the screen click quad draw and then you should be able to come back to this now a third issue might occur when you come into quad draw so you see i click quad draw here and then things aren't turning blue now if i look up to my guides it's definitely the shoulder guides that we have selected so everything's correct here and if you look i do actually have the ability to move the quads but it might be the case that i actually want to see that see this live constraint option down here now if that's happening it could be that down in your layers on the third button down here you might have t selected and that's basically a wireframe and that wireframe overwrites the quad draw shader options so this is not much of a problem it can sometimes be a feature so just turn that off and then you'll get the classic blue back honestly it's actually quite nice to sometimes have that on just so you can see the underlying high poly so pay attention to this one because it's super frustrating if you see my quad tool has normal function i can't move the active point and nor can i move the face itself sometimes it pops up so if i try and move this all that's going to happen is i'm going to draw new points and it's going to get very messy now what's happening here and it's not so clear when you have quad tool activated is that the vertice is actually going inside the mesh and getting lost in the system. So I have another video on how to always avoid this completely. It just involves setting up a good base mesh. But for this problem, we're going to do a simple fix. You want to come out of quad draw mode and also you can press Q. Now we're back to standard Maya functions. If you press four, we're going to come into wire from right click vertex you want to select the vertice press w and then you can see we have this option for sliding and basically when we move this it's going to force and snap to the outer surface that we actually want now if we look deeper you can see how this actually works um, the vertice is snapping on the inside of the mesh and getting lost so Maya doesn't always know what you want you're going to have to guide it slightly after that come back into quad draw or you can also press y which goes back to your last tool okay and then now you have your normal functions back so take note for this one you can move your active points and under normal circumstances is they should snap together. Now this could happen for a couple of reasons. If you come down to your quad draw options, you potentially have auto weld unselected or the auto weld distance might be very low. So this distance can be a problem sometimes if you have a very large mesh or a small mesh. So once that's ticked, you'll find that you can snap them back together. If it doesn't, just double check your scale. So try and get a human scale and see if that fixes the problem. So also imagine this one, you've got your active points in quad draw. Then when you bring the points together, they're not snapping. You look at the mesh and everything seems to be symmetrical all the verts and the edges and the faces are turning blue so what's actually happening here it could be that your underlying guide is not symmetrical and Maya is having a hard time calculating where to join the vertices so if you are having those problems just double check that your mesh is perfectly symmetrical maybe make that fix in ZBrush bring it back in and then it should fix your problems so that's why I stress having a really solid guide mesh so you don't run into those issues I've made a video on that so check in the links below if you're interested in it so bear with me on this one it might be that you can't find the quad tool and that can happen for a couple of reasons maybe it's been hidden or you pressed a certain key you should be able to find it in the modeling toolkit here there's also an icon up here which is also the modeling toolkit can't find that section you can also find it here second place you can find it is in the tool
toolbar, so under polygon modeling section. And if any point you can't find them, it's going to be under quad tool in mesh tools. And you also get the options in this square. If all else fails for that, you just want to come to your workspace in the top right and reset current workspace, and it should bring back all those windows. So take heed on this one. You might have been working on one side of your mesh and accidentally had symmetry deactivated. So obviously that's going to cause problems when we come back into symmetry. If you see I move this one, the other side isn't moving. It also could be the case that you prefer one side to the other. So let's say I want to fix this or I do prefer this side. I want you to come out of quad draw and then click this button, which is the mirror button. You can find it under the polygon modeling and it also can be found under mesh and mirror. For this to work, you want to make sure that you're in object mode. So right click and then go to object mode. We get given this panel to see things more clearly. I'm going to press control one to isolate this low poly. So what cut geometry is going to do. And if you click that is basically overwriting one side to the other. So if you do have preference on the side with X axes and direction, you can pick which side you prefer. So plus or negative. Now, ideally, we do want it to join in the center, but here it's dragging some extra verts and snapping them together. So to rectify this, just turn the mesh threshold down. I've changed it to 20 and now the distance is removed. These are welded and then these ones aren't. Control one to bring everything back. Make sure your guide is the live surface. Select the low poly that you just fixed. Come back to quad draw and also make sure that your symmetry is on object X. Everything should be fixed by now. So pay attention to this one because it's really important with quad draw. When you come in and start drawing, for example, maybe it's like a cloth mesh. You might find that Maya stops you drawing an active point in certain locations. You can work around it, but it's a bad habit to get into. Now, the issue classically arises when you have something that's a very thin mesh. Say you've taken it out of ZBrush, it's got two sides. You've smoothed it infinitely and they're basically sharing the same space or the inside is coming through the outside of the mesh. A very quick fix for that, you come down to your quad tool, live constraint options, and you want to tick snap to back face. So it's a very quick fix and it allows you to now draw onto that surface. But as I said, it's a really bad habit because it's got misalignments here. A better approach to fixing the issue is to fix the base mesh itself. Now, I'd really prefer to do that in ZBrush, but you can fix it in Maya. So come to face and in face mode, you basically want to hold shift and select a couple of areas around the problem. So what we're doing here is selecting the inside of the shirt should look something like this. Now holding shift and pressing full stop is going to grow our selections. And because of the evenly distributed selections we did, it selected all the problem areas. Just double check that it's not deleting anything that you do want to keep. For example, like the bottom of the t-shirt, look at it from the front and then just hit delete. You can then reactivate the guide and then you don't have to use this snap to back face. You just get your normal functionality of quad draw. So if all else fails, what you can do is go to edit, delete by type and delete all your history. You can also reset the workspace up here under workspace and reset current workspace. And if that doesn't work, you can just close reopen Maya. If you have deeper problems, join the 3D Mutiny Discord community where we can help you out. If I did solve any of your problems there, please leave a like of appreciation and subscribe as I'll be releasing more videos based on quad draw and we might even go in the process of doing this character. So thanks for watching and enjoy your quad draw.